know what time it is, right? It's time for another episode. <laughs> Driving with Ty. <laughs> so, I have Ty with me and also Elliot here, our special guest. And uh, today we're going to talk about a very, very interesting topic. Uh, lately, we have been on economics. Um, I wanted to kind of set the backdrop of this next topic because it is really a curveball. And I think it'll be very interesting to get your organic answers. Uh-oh. Elliot, please do not <laughs> search it on Google. I feel like I want you to take away your phone just because you're going to do that. So please don't do that. It kind of ruins the whole thing. So please. <laughs> so, all right. Today, I wanted to talk about this uh, really, really interesting thing I saw. And I'll, I'll give a little bit more details later. Uh, but I wanted to ask you, what is a nightmare? You mean like sleep nightmare? A nightmare. <laughs> It's a bad dream. A bad night- <laughs> No, I don't think you said that. What? Nightmare. You said yeah. A, a night. Sorry. I knew I was going to a crazy. night mayor. Oh, like a mayor at night. Like, yes. I'm the mayor of your city and I'm here at night. <laughs> yes. Those words, okay. Yes. What do you think? I don't know. Just <laughs> guess. Just guess. I love the organic answers. Just guess. Oh, well, I'm going to keep my answer. I'm a mayor <laughs> and I'm here at night. A mayor. <laughs> That you're here at night. Okay, all right. So, Elliot, what, what's your what's your thoughts? Well, I don't know, but I know it has something to do with money. It has, yes, yes. That oh. would indicate it has to do with money. But just give me give me something. Give all me right. a, a guess. Money. All right, let's go with it. Um. Elliot, we can't move on until you give me a guess. <laughs> um, oh my God. It's like uh, it's like uh, I have no idea. Okay. All right. So. uh it would be nice if you just kind of guess. All right. But I'm going to another guess. Okay. Because Ty's going to have another Since you told me the topic was economics of money. Okay. Um, I'm going to say that <laughs> it's when you can't pay off, like, the deficit. I think you're reaching, but that's okay. No, no, that's okay. <laughs> okay, know, okay. So, what do you want so me to let, do? hold on. Let me let me set the table a little bit more, and then you that can give me some. That would be great. You you can okay, but you can <laughs> you can uh, you know submit additional answers. So uh, let me ask you this: um, uh, our our cities. Well, would you would you uh, agree or disagree with the following statement? Our cities are becoming more densely populated. Agree. Okay, Elliot. Agree. Okay. Um, our cities are more are, are becoming more and more expensive to live in. Agree or disagree? Agree. Okay. Elliot? Um, it doesn't it depend on what city it is. Okay, so so that's a good point. That's yeah, a good follow up. Okay. So what about uh let's say uh Chicago, let's say Los Angeles, San Francisco, New York, Washington DC? Expensive, 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 expensive. Okay. Expensive, Elliot, would you expensive. So if, if that's our if that's our set of cities, would you say agree or disagree? Agree. Okay. Uh, more millennials or more people under the age of thirty five are moving into the city. Hmm. I thought I had heard about something about this. I think they are. Okay, Elliot. I'm gonna go with yeah. Elliot, what um? You what said you, under thirty five. Under thirty five. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I would say that that's that's very accurate. You guys scored very well on those questions. So now I need to ask you this: like, why do you think people are moving into the cities? College. College. Okay. Education. Into the cities. Um, jobs. Well, I'm gonna say work. Yeah. Maybe jobs. Work, okay. Maybe jobs. Housing is just better for them, I guess. Housing. And that, like access, like they can do everything in one. Like area, if they lived out like maybe counties or more rural area, they have to kind of yeah, yeah. So, so you do so have like, like more yeah, yeah, densely yeah. packed uh, services, Stuff. and then they like, well, I don't have to like get a car because I'm gonna say I can take tr- public transportation, I can save money, blah blah. Okay. So all kind of ties in to that. Okay. Any anything else? No. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, well, what about entertainment? Wow. Yeah. What about it? I I think that's a primary uh, reason why people move into the city. Because if you live, you know, in a rural a rural place, or you live in the suburbs with your your parents, or, yeah. or like Excuse let's me. say like you go to a college and you aren't too far from your college, and your college isn't in really like a 
uh, urban area, a lot of times you're going into an urban area to, you know. Oh, yeah, to unwind or whatever. Yep. Go yep. to stuff. Yeah. yeah, so a lot of these big cities, that's a big draw. It's the fact that that's how they increase their tax base by having tons of uh, young people come in and, and rent or buy homes there. Uh, because sometimes people don't like living in the cities because uh, as they have kids, they're like, this isn't really a place for a kid. You know, I'm, you know, two, uh, two houses down from a, a corner bar or a corner, pub, a corner pub or something. So it's not really conducive for, for raising kids. And that's the reason why a lot of people, you know, kind of come in for a couple years and then they leave after they get married and they have kids, which is perfectly fine. So um, entertainment is a real, real big draw. And uh, it's known that... Uh, people are going to go to these areas because of this. So, uh, would you think the city would be a disservice if they don't really like look at this population and, and really like, you know, work with them and try to make sure that they, you know, have the things that they want or desire? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, you want to please, you know, the community and stuff like that. Okay, so who do you think would, would want to focus on it? You mean like give me a little bit? You gotta give me a little bit more. Like what? What? what if, if we could think of any person that that would do that, like what person should be responsible for the nightmare? Because <laughs> yes. he's at night yes. where all the stuff is going on. <laughs> the nightmare. nightmare. So so the nightmare, <laughs> not nightmare. <laughs> sorry, I do speak things. I know. I said uh, incorrectly. I apologize. Mayor. Um. So mayor, <laughs> the night mayor. mayor. Uh, the idea. Uh, I really got it from a uh, writer by the name of. Uh, Raina, thank you, Raina. Really, really great uh, piece you wrote. Uh, I will link to it in the uh, description. Uh, she actually uh, writes for Technically DC. We oh, yeah. actually follow Technically Baltimore, but I try to follow the other I cities. do them too. But and Brooklyn. And Brooklyn, yes, yes. Brooklyn. Um, so, what is happening in like Amsterdam and other European uh, countries, they actually elect someone to say, like, hey, you're responsible for making sure the nightlife is safe. Uh, uh, you also... Um, Make sure that you don't have disbursement issues where the bars close at 2 a.m. Now you got a whole bunch of drunk people out there. Oh, wow. So it's somebody that's responsible for that. So one thing that they're doing in Europe is the idea of maybe we should just keep the bars open at like 24-7. And I'm like, what? That's crazy. And the reason why is because uh, you won't have that rush at 2, 4, 6 a.m. when you close the bars. Mm-hmm. Because people can come and go as they please. Um, you also uh, don't have to deal with uh, noise. Uh, the concentration of, of noise population because mm-hmm. like if two or three people are leaving every hour you're not going to have like 40 people in the middle of the street and mm-hmm. you're trying to go to sleep you know <laughs> and it's four o'clock in the morning you won't have that so it's somebody that's uh actually taking this uh, responsibility to do that um it's a program in chicago uh they actually i forgot the name of the specific position but they do have somebody that's um that's uh you know, on point for that, and and it was really, I think this was an article for D.C. that was, I mean, not D.C., uh, uh, Delaware, I said D.C., sorry, Delaware, technically Delaware, I'm so sorry right now, um, oh, okay. Delaware, um, so uh, the thing that they want to do is say, these are great ideas that we can pull from, uh, you know, Europe, this is a great idea that we can just put in place, which is fantastic, I really love this idea, I mean, I would, I would actually like to be the nightmare, truthfully. Like, I, I totally would, because like, it's so much economic opportunity. And also, you got to realize that uh, that tax base, normally, yeah, and we probably, I, you know what, I may be stepping out of line here by saying that. Mm-hmm. I think you have a and good opportunity <laughs> to uh, really engage that, that voting tax base. I really think, like, if, if a mm-hmm. politician wanted to, like, go find more voters, they could just go to, like, whatever, like, event like a meet and greet, ask me anything, set up for the nightmare. Like, by the nightmare. Mayor. Like, I think that would be <laughs> totally cool. And, like, I just think, like, it's a lot of potential and a lot of upside there. Uh, so what are your what are your thoughts? Now that we kind of, like, went around and kind of talked about a little bit of, of the economy, a little bit of, like, you know, uh, you know, like, not only local, like, uh, spender multiplier effects all that good stuff like so what are some of your thoughts what are some of your takeaways about the position of like like a nightmare i think certain cities will benefit from it especially those ones that are like you said has that dense population <clears throat> um excuse me those yeah the ones that are densely populated i think they would need it because they will have those same issues with the entertainment places closing down and people having to um, 
you know, disperse all at once. It makes perfect sense. Um, but only thing is, you know, as far as like the salary and everything of that position is going to take um, you know, more dollars from the city to create that. That's a that's a good point. Um, no, no, I, I, you know what? Actually, I would not mind my tax pay, my tax dollars to go to something like that, okay. because I feel that one, it's going to make the environment safer. If you make somebody responsible for making sure that it's a safe environment, mm -hmm. I think you are like infinitely better off than not having anybody caring about it. Because a lot of times, safety is the last issue. When you look at like a, how a lot of people uh, deal with safety, they make sure that their club is safe. They hire security, which makes perfect sense. But once you get outside, fights are happening. You don't have police engagement, or you may have police engagement or police presence. It's not very organized. It's more of a response to, hey, we actually had a couple of incidents over the past few weeks. We're gonna put, you know, you know, we're gonna put, uh, you know, police officers on the street or, or in this area that has a lot of things that are closing off at a certain time. I think when you kind of flip it and be a little bit more proactive, I think it's very useful because the reality is that like people are young, they're going to make decisions and sometimes they're going to make bad decisions. And you know, yes, there's consequences, but there should at least be some type of support system. Let's say somebody just drinks too much. What, what is the recourse? The recourse is somebody should probably get medical attention. So, you know, I think that's really, really good. And you know, I think when you have somebody that is responsible for that and coordinating that, I think that's fantastic. I think that's amazing. But well, what is the, is that too much to put on the current mayor? Like, why don't they, why don't, why aren't they responsible for that already? So. Is that like, putting too much on their plate or what? Yeah, yeah, that's a good point. I mean, um, so when you. creating a new position. Yeah, 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 that's a good point. Um, I, I mean, you know, when you think about things like, you know, education, like just basic primary K-12 education. Uh, you also think about like uh, economic development for the non, you know, uh, nighttime businesses. I don't know. It seems like the mayor has enough to focus on. I was just asking. No, I mean that's a, that's a really <laughs> a good question. I mean, I mean, I, I think it's more pros than cons. I, you know, I just kind of feel like that's that's a way for for local government to be a little bit more effective. So, I mean, that's that's my take. I don't know, Ellie. What do you what do you think? Good idea, bad idea? For a nightmare. Yeah. I guess it's a good idea. Okay. Why do you think it's a good idea? I mean, it could make safety better at night because safety is a problem at night. Yep. Oh. Would you feel safer now that you're getting to that age where you may want to go out? Uh, would you feel safer if you actually had somebody on point to know, you know, who that nightmare is, if you see anything, or if anything happens, you had some questions? Like, would you actually feel safer, or...? No, not really. I really wouldn't go outside like that anyway. <laughs> okay, like cool. That. I don't care if you got a nightmare or not. <laughs> not All right. I, I think other people may like have a different opinion, and that's perfectly <laughs> fine. So yeah, but I just think that it's not smart to go out at night time sometimes like that. Yeah, yeah. Especially sometimes. Like at a bar, it's just not smart. Okay, that's cool. Well, I'm glad you're saying that now. We'll, we'll see in a couple years. Yay! But <laughs> today we talked about. What is a nightmare? I think we covered that pretty well. I think we talked about some of the benefits. Uh, I think it's an amazing thing. Uh, I don't know. Like, what do you guys think? I mean, is this something that, you know, makes sense to you? You have some differing opinions? Whatever it is, please comment in the description below. Well, below the description. Not comment in the description. You can't do that. Uh, but uh, thank you for watching. Uh, I really appreciate you watching this. I, I am so happy. Every time I see the number of minutes that people are just watching me talk. I think it's the greatest thing ever. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, please, if you like the video, click the like button. If you could, please subscribe to the channel. We always have different like topics that we talk about. Very like off the wall, out left field, just yep. you know, crazy stuff. But I think we tie some things together nicely. If there's things that you want us to talk about, please. You know, we also have other series. Like you can also ask Elliot. You can ask me anything, please. <laughs> Um, again, thank you for watching and appreciate your time and until next time, bye.